Hi there folks, this is Adam with 8Badge Gaming, coming back to you today with the third game in our Zoroark Alolan Executor series. So we're just going to go ahead and dive on into the queue. So, so far we're sitting at 2 and 0 oh with the deck. Uh, we were able to beat the Espeon Garbodord match in the first set or game there, and in our second game we were able to beat the Lapras deck. Now today it looks like we're likely against Buzzwall, and it could either be straight Buzzwall or Buzzwall Garbodor, due to the fighting, psychic, and water. Uh, it's likely just straight Buzzwall, which is probably not the greatest match for us. Uh, again, we've chosen heads and loss, the coin flip. Um, if we're looking at straight up Buzzwall, it's going to be a bit difficult for us, um, and that's primarily because of our fighting weakness on Azor Arcs. Uh, if they're able to get the disruption like Guzmas and things like that, uh, they're able to just punch their way straight through uh, our Zoroarks and we're having a bad time. Oh, it actually looks like we're against the poo flingy monkeys. <laughs> so we have the Passimians here. Um, they're likely trying to go for a KO against our Execute on their first turn. Uh, we need to get another basic of some sort into play here. Uh, so that was actually a good draw, because now we can go Kartana, use its Slice Off ability to take the strong energy off the Passimian there. Uh, then I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to Ultra Ball, sadly pitching the Rescue Stretcher and the Executor here, because we're going to look to go for a Lele. So let's have a quick look at our prizes. So we've got... Two Zorawas and a Zorawark prize, because we've got a Zorawark in hand. Uh, we don't have any of our Executes or Executors prized in any way. Uh, we don't have a Lele prized. We have two of our puzzles in hand. We're using an Ultra Ball now. One of our Bridgets is prized. One of our Cynthia's is prized. And it looks like... It's a one of our energy. Uh, no, looks like all of our energies are fine as well. Hmm. Unless it's, I think, one of our one ofs, the multi switch. Yep, it's the multi switch. So we're going to go for Lele here. Uh, we're going to immediately Lele to go get a Bridget. Uh, the Bridget is going to go for the two Zoroas. And let's see, weakness, we're looking at Psychic for both so we can't really go for the Mew because then that wastes our whole Bridget so I think we go for Zorua Zorua execute expecting our first execute to die in some way here and we go ahead and pass it back now next turn we can potentially buy back the executor uh, it's really going to depend on what we draw here and our opponent having the Bridget isn't great for us but it means he doesn't have a draw supporter so he is going to be taking a KO here on the Passimian, um, and I think we want to promote... Whew, that's a hard choice, actually. I think we promote the one of the Zoroas. It's a risky move depending on what we draw here, but that might actually be what we need. So let's go Zorowark. We are going to go for Puzzle, and it's going to Double Puzzle. We're going to go for the... Ultra Ball and the Rescue Stretcher. Because then we're going to Ultra Ball. And this time we're going to go for a Lele. The Lele is going to come down and it's going to go for a draw supporter for us. Which is going to be a Sycamore just for the share card advantage. Uh, we're going to Sycamore ourselves up to 7 cards and trade to go another 2 cards deeper. Uh, let's see. Alolan Executor. So we can go energy, uh, we can trade, trading away the Acerola, getting p 
puzzle and energy. So we're going to go Alolan Executor here. Uh, we're going to Float Stone. We're going to Retreat. And we're going to Tropical Head here. And we're going to be putting the energy on the Passamian. There's no reason not to, or rather the damage on the Passamian. Um, we need to keep that Passamian KO'd as much as possible, basically. Um, if we can get... Oh, it might have actually just been the best to put the Kartana into the active. Because if you can't one-shot the Kartana, then we have the ability to Ace Roll it back to hand and use that to take out the DCE. I know this deck generally struggles a little with the energy particularly because it only runs DCEs and Strongs. Um, so let's see. So this is going to be 30... This hits for a lot of damage. This is scary. Oh, I don't like this at all because now he's going to be taking out my Zorwark. Because um, he's going to discard the energy to retreat, but that really makes me want to put up the Kartana and hope that he doesn't have a KO. Uh, so we've got 380, so that's 190, which is still going to be a KO. So let's put up our Free Retreater. Um, let's see. We'll put down a Mew. Um, let's... Go ahead and end here. Put our opponent down some cards, possibly mess up their hand a bit. We did get a Zoroark, we did not get a DCE. So, we go Zoroark. We will trade a Field Blower. Uh, Sycamore does not help. So let's see, 20 damage would be doubled to 40. That doesn't do enough. Um, so let's go Choice Band. Attach an energy here. Retreat into the Kartana. Hope our opponent doesn't have a Guzma, but I think we're going to puzzle the time to have a look at the top three. So, Professor's Letter, actually, Acerola, Professor's Letter. Um, back in this order. So, Professor's Letter, Acerola, Ultra Ball. Because we'll probably discard Choice Band or the other Zorwark. So we've got a Choice Band here, which is definitely going to spell a KO on the Kartana. An N, which puts us up cards and then down cards. I guess they took advantage of us shuffling away the top portion there. Um, Abyssal Hand. So it's going to be super risky putting up a Mew. Oh no, this is bad times here now. He's going to force up our Mew now, and that's going to be a KO. No, he's gone for the Zoroark. Oh, because Mew's not going to be able to copy an attack. <laughs> so, here we promote the Mew. Let's... Professor's Letter. Do we have a Fighting Energy? We do have a Fighting Energy. We also have a Grass. So we're going to go for Fighting and Grass. Uh, we're going to Ultra Ball to pitch Energy Energy. Uh, we're going to go for an Execute. Uh, lay an Execute. We're going to... Attach a Fighting Energy, Puzzle of Time to see what we've got on top. Uh, DCE Guzma Professor's Letter. And we're going to... Why can we not Dangerous Rogue GX? 
Use the attacks of any Pokemon in play. You still need the necessary energy. Fling Ram. Did I just encounter a bug? Because we've got the fighting and the one. Um, this makes me kind of sad. Because now I'm kind of boned. Because that's going to be 40. Yeah. It wouldn't let me do the Dangerous Rogue. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't there. Uh, that's a bit of a confusing one. I hadn't used the GX at all. Uh, I had the energy requirements to be able to use a Dangerous Rogue. Uh, he can copy the attacks of anyone in play. And it wouldn't let me Dangerous Rogue. So that likely should have actually been my game there. Because I would have forced... A KO there. I mean, I still have to take six prizes to his one. So I think I was probably going to be losing that overall. But I got to say, I'm a little frustrated that it wouldn't actually let me do the attack that I needed to do there. Um, he needed to be able to have a DCE. Or actually, no. for He needed to be able to have Floatstone, DCE, or Guzma. Um, plus a way to get back his just KO'd Passimian, which is going to be a bit hard for him. But, oh well! There's not much that we can do about it now. We're now sitting at 2 and 1, uh, losing out to the Apes after we had a bit of a rough start, not getting where we needed to be with the deck, and our opponent being able to get exactly what he needed to mess up our day. Well, either way, I, as always, thank you for your viewership today, and this is Adam with 8-Badge Gaming signing off.